Hello, Kimura Hashi, it's Andy Gallagher, and welcome to Community Saturdays episode 2. I know I missed last week, but I'm hoping to make it up for this week and get a bit more news stories and promote more channels in this video, so hopefully I can do that. And today's video will include news stories from Fortnite, GTA, and so on, so let's get straight in today's video. So, the first news story is for Fortnite, in which it's a new game mode of the 50v50 version 2 in which, if you can't tell by the name one team gets 50 people the other team gets 50 people and you drop on two different buses the map is split down the side and on one side you have the enemy team and on the other you have your team and you have to get to this circle before the storm closes in and I can see where they came from with this, is it was a good idea. It could cause a whole battle, you're all 50 people battling each other, but it doesn't turn out like that. Because pretty much 70% of each team will not have a good weapon. So you're going to have someone in your team who's got a legendary sniper, an epic assault rifle, and you're flying in to attack a guy with an RPG and minigun with a pistol. It's not going to work out for you. However, it's a good idea as right when you all get close together there's complete and utter chaos going on. You see stuff getting built left, right and centre. You know, you've got the uh, um, Taj Mahal getting built in the middle of the battlefield. There's everything getting built, everything's happening. And no one gives up the weapons to be a good sport, try to be nice. It's like, help your team. No, they don't do that. However, as you see in this club, I tried to be friendly. My my partner here had no weapons, so I gave him two shield potions just to help them. Because uh, they didn't have weapons and they didn't have armour, so I helped him. I gave him that, which is, hey ho, be nice. I didn't have the best weapons myself. Did I get anything in return for helping him? No. But hey ho, as I said, I have weapons, he didn't. Hey ho. Yeah, and pretty much for most of the game it's still the same like the other one. You're pretty much doing nothing. You're just farming for loot, farming for material, until the last five minutes where everything goes to hell in a basket. All I can say about this is yeah, I better just either do squads or do solo as you're pretty much not going to get any weapon. And if you do get lucky, you're the one who has to take out most of the team. So, yep, yeah, that's all I can say about this. The next new story on the list was only released on April 20th, which was yesterday, and it was to do with Rockstar, specifically Grand Theft Auto 5, as they confirmed they'll be releasing the premium edition of GTA 5, in which it will be available for, of course, the PS4, Xbox One and PC and it will include everything from the story mode to online to all the DLCs so it's pretty much the exact same game under a new name. That's all it is. So, if you're looking to get this, you're just getting a new name game with the same content. You know, EA. You know, the FIFA games every every year they come up with the exact same game, just a different number. That's one thing it is. The following information comes from the Rockstar Newswire themselves, which I'll leave in the description below. And it's the Grand Theft Auto Premium Online Edition, which includes the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. And don't be fooled by this. It does say the most exciting and popular content plus $1 million bonus cash to spend and over $10 million in value. Don't be fooled by this. And the $10 million in value is the basic items. Not going to get you anywhere. Your best option is just to start again. Well, that is if you have it just starting up. And my advice, personally, it's been here for 5 years. If you have GTA 5 already, just avoid this game because it's not worth it. You're able to get one out of $1 million easily. If you don't have GTA 5 after these 5 years, my advice is just to ignore it now 
and wait until the next GTA game is out. Or just wait until Red Dead Redemption 2, whatever comes first. But the $10 million is not worth it because it's just the basic items. And they're just trying to milk you for the money. That's the only thing this really is. So just to avoid this game. It's been out for five years and if you don't have it, there's no point in getting it now, really. They're just trying to keep this game as much as it's live just to get more money out of the customers. Sounds like a company that everyone knows, am I right? Bethesda with Skyrim. We're releasing it every single day. They basically on a new console and EA releasing a new game just with a different number. It's the same game. Next up on the list is Overwatch. More importantly, the Overwatch PTR. Which there has been a few changes to it and that's regarding a few buffs, nerfs and a new map. The new map is if you have played the Retribution game mode, then you already know what the new map is, as it's Rialto, which is the map of the Retribution game mode where you're Moira, Genji, McCree, and Reaper, as it was. And basically, the way the map is, you, the payload starts right next to where the attacking team is. So as soon as you start the map, it's just all out chaos from now, which I do like, but that's about it really. I can't gain any footage of it just now as it's on BTR, but I may be able to get some in the future or just wait until the game mode is actually released. Either way, whatever you prefer, just leave, let me know in the comments and I can get that done. So, moving on, the following information comes from the PeteTheBattle.net PTR of Overwatch, in which some characters had a buff and nerfs. So start off, we have Genji, who's deflect as his hitbox size has been reduced, which means it's a slight buff because he'll be slightly harder to hit as he had to be more precise, but it's mainly because his deflect, you can hit him quite a distance away and you can still hit him. However, he's already hard to hit as is. Come on. The guy is double jumping everywhere, jumping off like a little spring monkey. And they just made it harder to hit. Come on! Why does he have to get a buff? He doesn't need a buff. And of course, Genji's brother, Hanzo, has been updated as they've finally have got rid of the dreaded scatter arrow. As they have replaced it with something called the Storm Arrows, in which you can rapidly fire up to 6 arrows. Yes, the arrows will reduce damage, have been reducing damage, however, they're all shot at full power. So when you're normally using an arrow, you pull back and let go and hit. That's what basically they'll do, but you do it very fast. So that replaces the scatter arrow, which basically was just so annoying. Basically, much 90% of the kills that Hanzo players got was from scatter arrows. You can't deny it. Come on. Next up is Junknet, Lucio, and Tracer. They've all had a buff and nerf. Like, Junknet has had a nerf in which his projectile size is smaller and his tire is slower. But, however, a lot of people still can get kills with Junknet, so it's no problem. Lucio has got a buff in which his Soundwave no longer uses ammo and his wall ride doesn't get interrupted and he can move around corners, basically. And Tracer has had a Pulse Bomb decrease in damage from 400 to 300. This keeps it so she can one-shot kill like people with 200 to 250 health heroes, but do less damage to tanks. Because the tanks are just big hefty things, they just the tracer, you just run in, toss the bomb, jump back out. They're so easy to stick the bomb to. And doing 400 damage to them is a bit too much. So having a little decrease slightly is cool, it's cool. If you want to read the full developer comments and the full bug changes in the PTR, 
I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It is now shout out time! And when it's in this part of the video, I will be giving a shout out to a few channels on Twitch and on YouTube on the videos they make and just the channels I watch personally. And to start off, we have Rapunzel's Tower. Now, I was in there in this stream the other day just talking to them while they were playing Stormy Ascent on Crash Bandicoot. And they're very friendly to talk to. I've been in the streams a few times before and they're very nice. They can make a joke, they can have a laugh, and with only 175 subs, they are very, uh, still a small channel. I recommend you go check them out, say hi, They're, she's very friendly and very fun to be around, to talk to and everything. So check that channel, she really does a lot of different videos, and a lot of jo joking videos basically. So have fun, say hi. Next up is XX Sasha Blue. XX, which I'm friends on PSN was, and she does pretty much a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, and it's mainly just her using a sniper killing people, and I have to admit she has one hell of a shot on that sniper. One of these days I need to face you in a 1v1 sniper, because I would love that battle. If, if you watch this part, I would love that battle. She's also done Skyrim videos, but she mostly does GTA, and with 54, she needs help to get up there, get more subscribers, so go check her out, say hi, support the channel, check out all her shots, some of her shots are just freaking amazing. And yeah, if you're still watching this video, Sasha, I really want you to fit you in GTA one day. Up next is Lion Gamer. Now, with over 600 subscribers, Yes, this is a still a small channel compared to everyone else on YouTube, but this guy, he's very friendly, he supports other channels, he does a lot of live streams, and yeah, he will talk to you no matter what in a chat. He is very friendly and he basically just tells it like it is, the way it always should be. If you don't like something, just say the goddamn thing. And that's now he's like, that's what I'm like, if I don't like it, you'll be the first to know that I do not freaking like it. So check this guy out, get him to the 700 mark, to the 800 mark, this help the other channels, this is all about build the community and help each other. So drop by his channel and say hi. The last YouTube channel of today is Crying Wolf 18 Now, I've been on the channel a few times, he's been in mine, he's also been on my brother's channel, he's a friendly guy, he helps and supports, and he's only got 192 subs, so let's try to help him get to that 200 goal mark, everyone. Go help support our channel. Feel free. He plays, been, lately he's been playing a lot of Darksiders and Destiny 2. And he's a good guy to talk to, he's very friendly, nice and relaxed. And it's quite fun to be in the streams. He's joined mine sometimes, he's joined my brothers. And yeah, just join, have fun, say hi. Moving on to Twitch. The first channel is Dragonrath 2012, which is of course my brother. He's helped me a lot on YouTube. He's the one who helped me show the other channels. It's helped me get up to close to 170 subs. And I thought I'd help his channel back out on Twitch. He's only got five followers. So if you have a Twitch channel, go and support, support him. Get talking, get chatting there, get following. He does a lot of anything. He does GTA, does. Overwatch, he does Fortnite, he does um, whatever, he makes jokes, he's a lot funnier than me, but he support his channel, yeah, Dragonrath2012 on Twitch, and yeah, just say hi, tell him I sent you, and yeah, just have fun. And the last channel for today on Twitch is Samarian. Now, this guy is very good to watch, and I have to admit, he does sound like McCray out of Overwatch and he's very he's funny and friendly but he's another one who will not take any crap from no one. You talk crap, you get banned. That's what it should be. Join his channel on Twitch. He's very friendly. He does a lot of Overwatch and he does a few other games. He also does a talk show on Fridays so I recommend you check that out. He's a nice guy and everything. Very friendly. He, whilst playing Overwatch, he talks to his team, he's very nice. 
I've not had a chance to play with him yet on Overwatch, mainly because I've got a, I'm very bad, but he's a good player on Overwatch as well. He plays a lot of Reinhardt, but the most important thing is just to join, have fun. That's what all this is all about.